guys welcome back to my channel so if you're new here my name is Kimberly and I am a part-time reseller I am a part-time full-time freelance writer and editor and a lot of my content is lifestyle and beauty fashion things like that and today I am doing an I keep saying the name wrong so I'm gonna like show y'all so I remember Emery Rose Hall so if you like plus size fashion please stick around and watch um i got sucked in i have been watching um youtubers trying on plus size clothes i love torrid and actually i have a torrid haul coming later coming soon but yeah i've been watching and i've been loving shein and kind of I am I'm not a big fan of fast fashion except for the fact that it's more affordable and as a plus size girl who is always struggling to find cute clothes for when I go out if I go out I don't go out a lot um, I'm always looking for something different but something that fits into my aesthetic which is basically black on black on black <laughs> and I, I wanted something different and like I said I got sucked in I was on Instagram and they had the cutest dress on one of those like ads while you're when you're watching the stories you know like they'll watch you you get to see three friends and then a, then there's an ad and I, the dress was so cute and I was like I want that dress so I went to the website and I realized that the prices were decent like I'm pretty sure the dress I wanted which I'm hoping it's actually in here. I, I don't even know what I've ordered. Like, I'm pretty sure, like, I blacked out and then I had placed my order. <laughs> um, but the prices were, like, $18 for the dress, like, $5 for the shirts. They had home goods, which I did buy some home goods stuff. Sorry if I just shook the camera because I literally put that right at the base of my thingy. I don't. I'm, I'm it's gonna be bad today I, I have to admit it's March 11th I just filmed another video I rambled in that one so now I'm pretty sure I'm out of words um, yeah but I haven't opened any of this it is still in the Emery Rose packaging that it came in because I kind of wanted to do a reaction video from first pulling it out of the package now obviously I got rid of the um, the poly mailer it was in because boy was that beat up that thing looked like it got run over by 10 cars and none of them stopped. Um, it wasn't like torn up. It was just really dirty and kind of like, like the texture of gravel had been embedded. So I wanted everything out just to make sure like nothing in here was damaged, but all of these poly millers look really good. So fingers crossed. <coughs> um, I don't know this brand, so I went cautious with my sizing I am typically a size 16 um, I did check measurements and stuff and and the thing is is that even though the measurements were like kind of all over the place with these pieces I still went across the board and I'm pretty sure I only got 2x um, because that was like their 16 with you know and and chest measurement was really important but because of how different the chest measurements were like across the board and I mostly bought shirts and I think one dress I don't know how this is going to turn out so I'm a little nervous I will probably do at least like a you know I'll come back and show you one or two of these pieces on but let's get into this so up first is this top because color I'm not a color person but I'm trying to add a little more I'm trying to add prints in okay all right, this is not what I was expecting. I don't know what I, like material wise, it's not what I was expecting. This almost feels like linen. Okay, so let me show you. It has this top detail of like spirals. It's a short sleeve. The spiral detail goes to the, the um, hem cuff, whatever. It's at the hem. And it almost has the feel of linen. But it's 50% cotton, 50% polyester. So I'm a little worried because there's no stretch to this baby. But, okay. All right. Mm -hmm. Hold on. Okay. All right. I put it on. No problem. 
it does feel like a linen top. Now it has actually, it doesn't have any stretch, but the size seems pretty perfect. Um, obviously this is not the best uh, to show you, but here we go, I'll stand up. And you can see it doesn't like pull at my hips. Yeah, I'm literally wearing, look, it doesn't, that's not bad. Okay, I'm not mad at this. Um, I'm wearing leggings just so that I could do this because I was like, if I'm gonna try these things on, which I didn't know if I would or not, I wanna be comfortable. Leggings are comfortable. I don't know how I feel about this. Um, this is a lot. It's a lot, especially up by my face. But I don't hate it. <laughs> my poor shirt. Go over your shirt. You'll be on it again. Oh, wow. Okay. I don't know what this is. I don't know what anything is. None of them have, like, names on them. So, next is, like I said, I was trying to go for color, even if it's a dark color. <laughs> So this one is a navy blue. This one's a kind of basic top. So it's another 2XL and it has like this um, embroidery like detail at the top. It's a bit more square. This is the style I wear. The only thing is, is it's a very short sleeve. Like there's like no sleeve. That was the only thing I was like, mm, I, cause I like a longer sleeve. I got the big girl arms. I'm a big girl. So I was hoping for more of a sleeve. But I am hoping I like this. I don't think this has any stretch to it either. Um, it's that kind of gauzy material. Kind of like the ones that they sell at uh, Torrid. Um, yeah, 100% polyester. Alright, let's try this on. Okay. The arms are actually better than I thought they would be. But they don't seem even. Maybe that's me. I don't know. Maybe this one's falling more. Maybe, I don't know. Maybe I'm lopsided. Anything's possible. But, let's see. This is the only problem. So, it looks good. But it does pull at the... It's not as wide at the base as I thought it would be. But I still really like this one, actually. It's pretty comfortable for having no stretch. Um, and I like the blue. I like this. I like how simple this is. And it's not as sheer as I was a little worried it would be because I'm not wearing the best bra for this. And I can't keep, you know, it's, I, I didn't plan ahead for trying on. I really didn't. I just wanted to get this stuff open. I wanted to see it. I wanted to see how it looked. There's hair. You know, there's hair from trying on my, from putting shirts on. Next, I can see in from in here that this thing has butterflies. I don't know because I don't remember anything I ordered. I really don't remember. I know that there. I ordered at least one like kimono thingy. Okay, nope. So this is a butterfly print top. It's okay. It's another navy blue. I didn't think I bought more than one, but all right. This is another 100% polyester top. I like this. I like the print. <laughs> Let's see what it looks like. Bring on the butterflies. So, again, I like this top. It's pretty simple. It's kind of like wear it as a day-to-day -day top. Um, not It's dress up, dress down kind of thing. I like the sleeves because they're they have the wide enough opening I like the neckline um yeah it does it's again it actually fits over my booty which is nice because I got one of those um a little bit of a pull but it feels like the um the hem is better than on that one hmm. I don't know but it's just a plain top it's I mean it has the butterfly print and it's blue and it kind of silky looking but it's a pretty plain, it's a basic top. So I'm happy. I, I like this. I will say though, I'm in Florida and <laughs> it gets humid. And in the summer, I'm in Massachusetts where it gets humid. And I am a little concerned about that because like right now I have a fan going and I'm hot. Like your girl is hot. So I'm a little concerned that that's one thing. This is not a very breathable fabric. Let's check the others. Okay. Uh, next is this like blue plaid 
piece of paper. I mean, this thing is thin. It's more like that material of the first top that I showed with like the, um, the pink at the top. It is a very boxy cut. Let's check the material because I'm, I bet, I bet this is the cotton poly blend. Um, 65% cotton, 35% viscous. So still no stretch. But let's see what this looks like on. I'm telling, it's like so, th I don't even know if you can tell, but like, look, you can see me. So we'll see. Ooh, my hair. Okay, so it's a top. It is a top. It is very like, the plaid print of it is so undefined that I kind of feel like sometimes it just cuts it. I don't know. It's kind of like cutting me off in a weird way. It is roomy in the sleeves, just like the other shirts. But because again, it has no stretch, it's like kind of, it, it's a little, it's not like tight, tight, but like, it's, it's not like cozy. Honestly, this boxy fit, I don't like. This has no, this does nothing for me. So this one, the thing is, I, I have to check the return policy. I'm pretty sure it's like free returns, no issues, no drama. But I have to check it because it may not be worth it for me to send back. I may have to just pop it up in my Poshmark closet and be done with it. We'll see. Next. I don't know what this is either. I don't know what any of it is. Oh, yes, I do. I know what this is because this was the first thing I saw that I was like, oh my God, I need it. <laughs> so it's kind of like a basic black tee. But like with the, uh, I think they call these um, baseball tees, kind of, because uh, the the um, the way the the print is and the cut is at the um, sleeve. But yeah, this is like a t-shirt with like detail at the the cuff, and I like that because I still get my black, but with a little pop of color. This one is 65% cotton, 35% polyester. I will say the body feels a little bit nicer than like this for sh for for sure i love the print i love the mixed mixed media just at the shoulder sleeves area <clears throat> i find it interesting that this is like brand new and like i think there's a pull on it but we'll see all right i'm trying i'm trying this on because this is the one this is the piece this and the dress are the things i'm the most excited about but i don't know if i'm trying on the dress but i definitely tried this on no lie, I like this shirt. Like, I would buy this shirt in other style, like other prints at the sleeve if they had the black body. It is cozy, it's comfortable, it's basic, but it's a little less than basic. Like, I like this. So it has a good sleeve, like as you can see, and it has a nice looseness to it, and it just kind of flows i like this and it is a longer hem i will say it's down past my my hips and thighs you can't see it but it goes over the booty i like this one okay this is a winner all the way around um it's my favorite piece and i was hoping it'd be my favorite piece i would have to wear a better bra just i wasn't really planning this try on haul so much as i was like well we'll see what happens so Definitely better bra, but whatever. I work from home. I, I don't always like do go crazy and go all out. Uh, so, this is the dress. Um, okay, there's, there is a belt to it. Oh my gosh. Look at that print. This is what got me. Like that print, the skulls with the animal print in it. Like, <laughs> yes. And it has a matching little e belt. Um, yeah. I don't know. Hold. Let's see. The where's the material tag? It is ninety-five percent polyester and five percent elastane, so it does have a little bit of stretch. Um, I don't wear a lot of dresses, um, so I'm a little nervous. 
I don't want to take this off. Hold on. Okay, you're not really going to be able to see this dress. That's fine. I'm fine with that because I'm not sure how I feel about it. Also, I love the pants on anyway. So I like this top. But the thing about this dress is it has, it's just, it's a sheath dress. So it, and it, but it works for me, but I don't know. Like, cause it's just a solid piece of material. Goes down to my knees, which doesn't mean anything to you guys, except that I am five foot four ish. Five foot four. We're going to go with five foot four. Um, I like the collar. I like that it's open. I think the belt will add something if I like use it. I don't know if I would though, because I don't like wearing belts. Um, but we'll have to, I will have to see. I might wear this with leggings because like I said, I have these leggings on, but they're Adidas leggings. So they have the white stripe down the bottom. So this is not, this is not it, but this fits really well. I'm surprised at how well it fits. Like I was worried if this was just a plain top, like that one, I hands down. Yes. Um, obviously I can't really show you the dress. I don't have the best setup for showing off like clothes I'm doing the best I can right now, but this is what I got right now, but I hope you get an idea, but it looks like I was thinking the same thing when I ordered because, oh my gosh, I didn't realize I got this, whatever this is. Look, same print. It's a top. But it's long, longer sleeve. Okay. It has a zipper detail right here. And it is 100% polyester. Let's, let's check this out. Let's see. Okay. I like this. Um, kind of. I'm going to show you what I don't like. The sleeves. So when I reach, it goes up. And I'm not, I'm not a tall girl. So like, look, it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. But when I do something, it moves. There is elastic at this cuff, but it is not elasticy enough, but I don't like elastic at the cuff. So it's kind of like a, okay, I'm glad it isn't, but at the same time, it kind of needs to be, I don't know. Very weird. The, um, the zip section here. I like that. I don't like it. Like, cause it, kind of like oh that's weird <laughs> it's cold but I like it it's kind of uh, but I love the print I love the fit I, it just it works like oh I wish I kind of wish this wasn't a long sleeve will I wear this heck yeah I like it <laughs> I bet I don't I don't know um there should be more things hold on I like th I like this. I do like this. Oh, this is not going to be another shirt. This is this is the this is the the heck is this thing? Um, it is the kimono-y thingy that I got. Um, I will say the material. This is not a hot, good quality per se because there's some dangly. Look, there's like. I don't know if you can see it. There's there's pulls and extra string. And I haven't worn it. And look, it's all the way up. Yeah. It's like one wear and you're done. So make it count. Like this is bedroom beauty that you wear once. They rip off of you and you, your girl is done. I don't even know if I can say any of that, but yeah, that's what I'm saying. Hold on. Let's This is this is stupid. This is This isn't this isn't the way to go. But like if it's over it. But this is not it. Yeah. Okay. Like I am terrified to rip this. I I paid way too much money for something that like looking at it, I'm pretty sure it's going to rip. So that's, that is disappointing. I'm still wearing this. Hold on. Okay, I'm back. <laughs> My t-shirt's back too. So the last two things are not clothing. They're not fashion. They're home. 
they have an entire home section and I will say that after like trying on feeling the material I don't know what I'm gonna think of their home stuff but all I got were two um, their pillow shams well let's start with this one okay this makes me think of like home goods but the pillow actually is in it so this is a like lumbar support size pillow and it has the um I think they call this like the Greek keys print uh, it is a zip it has a zipper bottom which I appreciate because I hate the ones that have like the split in the back and then the back is a solid blue this is very soft I will say um, yeah I'm not mad at this the only thing is that this has a mark on it that's like I just pulled it out of the package and it already has like a stain that's the only thing so I like hmm that's a bummer but I'm, I'm still okay with it and I, I I actually like this enough to keep um now I'm just gonna have to find a pillow to put in it because I bought without a pillow or stuffing or anything because I like going to Michael's so it could be a project next this one was just for fun because yeah it is okay I will say this is cheap like this is this is like I can't think of the brand but what else? it is a peacock feather print uh, they had four different peacock feather prints it does have the nice zipper but like it feels cheap um, it kind of feels like the pillow like if this had a pillow actually in it this feels like what you would expect from like Dollar Tree no shade on Dollar Tree because I love Dollar Tree and Dollar Tree's Bay but like I wouldn't buy a pillow from them that I want to last but I do like the print and that's a pretty standard size I think it's like a it doesn't stand there why don't I look like eight by eight I think seven by seven maybe anyway I don't think it'll be hard to find a pillow for it it's just not like I wouldn't go out of my way to buy it again I think this was like three dollars I think this one was three dollars and the other one was four dollars you can tell the difference between the that one dollar makes a big difference that other one is a lot better quality than this but that is my Emery Rose haul and unexpected try on I really want to know what you think um, I will say my thoughts on it <sighs> go in knowing that this is fast fashion number one go in knowing your measurements go in knowing that go in knowing your hip measurements because not gonna lie <clears throat> that's important the problem is they don't always have the hip measurements because i would not have bought one or two of those tops had i seen a hip measurement um this girl's hippie i love the the like baseball type t top that's my favorite piece i love the print of the dress and that one long sleeve top but i don't know how often i'd be wearing that dress i don't know I have a girlfriend who would make me wear that a few times though so we'll see um the long sleeve top i really like i don't like the sleeves i wish the sleeves were short or something different i'm actually thinking of going back on their website just to see if they have another style of that particular print and another top because i do like that print um yeah my favorite piece is definitely the like baseball jersey the baseball tee and the print of the dress I did like um, the blue the blue with like the um, the lacy embroidery detail at the top I did like that I think because it's like the gauzy shirts that I expect from toward my brain was like what is that store that you like I don't know would I buy from Emery Rose again maybe the prices are right like the prices are so inexpensive that like how can you go wrong I know that most of what I bought though was on sale I will say right now I had 18% off your first order plus it was um, a lot of things on sale I think the only thing I paid the full price for was the one thing I was the most disappointed in the like lacy kimono I think that one was like their full regular price of 16 dollars 
but the prices the average price at the regular price was around 15 and up to like 30 maybe i think i saw um it just depends but on sale with an extra discount plus i didn't pay for sh i think i didn't i don't know if i pay for shipping i couldn't tell you but um yeah not bad mm, would i go out of my way to buy from emory rose again no i probably wouldn't um, unless I saw something like the dress that I was like, I have to have that. I don't think I would be hunting their site for pieces. Um, it would have to be something where I got like an email from them and they showed some new things and I was like, oh, I love that print. I need to have that. Then I would buy from them again. I'm not saying I would never buy from them again, but I'm not going to go out of my way to see what they have because unless it's that baseball tee and that material, it's just okay. That's just me though, and I'm slightly picky because also it has to feel good. I, I'm a little bit picky about like sensory things when it comes to my clothing, and the only piece that really felt good on was the, the baseball tee, and I will say the dress felt pretty decent, even though it was a polyester. The rest of it, mm, I wanted to love it more. I would like to know your thoughts, um, especially since this was kind of a bad try on. So give me all the criticism. But if you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. Um, let me know your thoughts. Did you have a favorite piece? Have you bought from Emery Rose? Would you buy from Emery Rose? Yeah, I would love to know. And if you stuck around to the end, please, um, please let me know. Please like, subscribe. I'd love to have you on this very weird journey I'm going on in 2022. And yeah, thanks for watching whatever this mess was. And I could probably keep rambling, but I won't because I have another video to film. Bye guys.